Hey guys, this is the video on building Thanatos in Persona 3 Reload. Now, I apologize this video is coming out a tad late, but I do have to finish these games alongside you guys, and for Thanatos, deciding on specific builds for him did take some time. While Thanatos has one of the sickest designs in all of Persona games, he doesn't have some insane signature move to build around. You can kind of build him however you like. So I thought I'd include multiple build options, and whichever one a person prefers, they can choose to use it. If the builds here end up being useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps out. Most of the builds here use resist passives instead of null, repel, or absorb, simply because for the super boss Elizabeth, you'd really prefer to have resist. And in most situations, resist is as good as null, I mean, if you die to a random light insta-kill even with resist, that's just unlucky, I guess. But there will be an alternate route in each fusion path, if you'd prefer to have Null Light for example, so you can follow that route if so. I did keep Enduring Soul, which Thanatos learns via level up, because it's a good general skill to have. But any of the non-essential skills on these builds can be switched out if you prefer. The first build here is a standard Almighty setup with Morningstar. We have both boost and Almighty M for more damage, Spellmaster for lower SP costs, followed by some defensive passives. Almighty Amp is a skill mutation only move, you can see a previous video I did on how to get it. It's in the first half of that vid. Almighty Magic isn't as strong as Fizz or other types of magic in Reload, but in exchange it can't ever be blocked, and it's applicable everywhere. So having an Almighty Persona is still pretty nice. This build is a pretty expensive one, as it needs Hillel, the max star persona at level 95. There's a couple ways to farm money in P3R, you can beat shadows and gain shuffle time when you have Arcana Burst. This nets around 40k each time on the highest Tartarus floors. There's farming golden hands, as well as the Reaper, if you're able to, maybe with Armageddon. If you farm with a Devil Major Arcana card, you can get two bloody buttons with each Reaper kill. And if you're not playing on Merciless, you can turn your game difficulty down to Peaceful and sell them for 150k each. The second build is a dark focused one. Thanatos learns dark skills and dark amp from level up, so a build like this is a no brainer. It also fits with Thanatos' aesthetic I would say. The added skills are ones like Dark Boost and Spellmaster, just to round out the setup more. The MC's best weapon, Lucifer's Blade, comes with magic ability as a passive, so that's why it's not on here. One passive that would be nice to have is Magic Mastery, but from our current understanding of skill mutation, Thanatos can't learn this skill. Again, see my previous video for more on this topic. The third build is a slash one with Vorpal Blade. A physical build on Thanatos may seem a bit weird, but he does learn Brave Blade via level up, and slash builds are very strong in reload because of critical hits and the theurgy skill Scarlet Havoc. While it may seem like Thanatos' high magic stat from level up is wasted on this build, theurgy attacks actually use both strength and magic in their calculation. Any theurgy persona, if you're going for the highest damage, would ideally have both stats maxed out. So Thanatos' high magic stat isn't actually going to waste here. Aside from that, we have the standard passes of Slash Boost, Amp, and Multi-Target Boost. I went with Vorpal Blade instead of Brave Blade because it fits better with Scarlet Havoc. Then there are the passes of Amp Pupil and Crit Rate Amp. I did opt for Arms Master instead of Crit Rate Boost. You could swap the two, but Crit Rate Boost is only an additional 5%, so that's up to you. Only downside to this build is, if you get a Vorpal Blade reflected back at you, it could be a quick trip back to the title screen. That's the only thing to watch out for. Null Fizz could remedy this, but we're already running out of skill slots as it is. The last build is a full support setup. Now, it may seem sacrilegious to use a persona as cool as Thanatos as a buff and debuff bot, but because of Thanatos' innate resistances, he is actually one of the best candidates in reload for this role. Bloody Charge is just like the regular version, but with the additional effect of Rebellion increasing your crit rate. It doesn't stack on top of an existing Rebellion, but it can extend it. This move is usually found on Hellbiker, a persona you get from finishing Shinji's linked episodes, and Futsanushi from the Magician Social Link. 
you can simply use the regular charge instead, and this does kind of save you a skill slot, as you don't have to run both Spellmaster and Armsmaster on your support. The Fusion Path will have options for both. Of course, this isn't an exhaustive list. You can run any number of elemental setups on Thanatos, like Fire, Ice, Wind, or Electric. But 4 builds already felt like a good amount for this vid, and there are a number of other elemental personas you can use. Nothing wrong with, like, an Ice build Thanatos, but yeah, kinda out of the scope of this vid. With all that said, let's go to the first fusion. First, the Almighty build. For the first step, fuse together Black Frost and Valkyrie to get Loa, passing over Resist Light. If you prefer to have Null Light instead, just follow the alternate route displayed on screen. Then we take Hallel, who needs to be level 95, fusing together with Lamia to make Loki. Pass over Morningstar, Almighty Boost, and Spellmaster. If you see on screen now, I actually didn't transfer Spellmaster here because Loki also learns it, but passing it over now is more convenient. I am also passing Almighty Amp, just because I already had it on Hillel. If that's not the case for you, just ignore it. Then fuse Loki and Jaikoku Ten to make Mott, transferring over the same skills as before. Finally, we can fuse Thanatos. Since Almighty Amp is a skill mutation move, I can't offer one guaranteed path to get it on Thanatos. You'll have to somewhat find a way to get it onto one of the fusion ingredients. The fusion calc is the best place to look for this stuff. But if you have that done, we can make Thanatos with Morningstar, Resist or Null Light, Spellmaster, Almighty Boost, and Almighty Amp. Since we can only pass 5 skills here, skill cards will be needed for the final moves. The multi-target boost skill card can be found from Request 51 from Elizabeth, and the one from Resist Fizz is available in the Antique Store. For the Dark build, First take Black Frost and Valkyrie to make Loa, transferring over Dark Boost and Resist Light. If you prefer to have Null Light instead, just follow the alternate route on screen. Next we take Loki, the non-DLC version, and Jaikoku Ten to make Mott, passing over Spellmaster. Loki does need to be level 76 to learn this skill. Once we've done that, we can fuse Thanatos, passing down Dark Boost, Resist Light, and Spellmaster. The last moves can be added from skill cards. The multi-target boost skill card comes from Request 51 from Elizabeth, and the Resist Fizz one is from the Antique Store. You could get Resist Fizz onto one of Thanatos' fusion ingredients, but Lucifer does need to be level 96 for it. For the Slash build, again we'll take Black Frost and Valkyrie, making Loa and transferring Resist Light. Then we'll take Siegfried and Uriel to make Loki, transferring Vorpal Blade and Slash Amp. If you have some other passes like Crit Rate Amp, Slash Boost, or App Pupil, you can pass them along here too. Next we take Loki and Jaikoku Ten to make Mott, passing over Vorpal Blade, Slash Amp, and any other relevant passives. Following this, you'll need Masakato at level 84. The reason being, they're the earliest persona to get Armsmaster. If you want to fuse the Thanatos earlier than level 84, you could skip this part and add Armsmaster later via a skill card. But for this path, we'll fuse together Masakato and Pixie, carrying over Armsmaster and Crit Rate Amp. Then we'll take the resulting persona and Baphomet to make Samael, carry over the same skills as before. When we go to Fuse Thanatos, Unfortunately, we can only pass 5 skills here, so 
so I'd recommend you guys to take a look at your inventories and what skill cards you have, and pass down the moves you don't have skill cards for. In my case, that's Vorpal Blade, Arms Master, Slash Amp, Crit Rate Amp, and Resist Light. The multi-target boost skill card comes from request 51 from Elizabeth. The slash boost and app pupil skill cards can be found during rank 5 and rank 6 shuffle times, respectively. Lastly, we have the support build. Again, for resist light, use Black Frost and Valkyrie. First, we'll take Hellbiker and Ranga to make Loki passing down Bloody Charge. If you want to use Futsanushi, there'll be another route on screen. Loki needs to be raised to level 76 for Spellmaster, then fuse him and Jaikoku Ten to make Mon. Next we take Masakado of at least level 81, with Thor to make Saturnus. Pass down Debilitate, and Saturnus will learn both Concentrate and Heat Riser by level 80. If Masakado is level 84, you could pass Arms Master here as well. Saturnus and Pixie can then make Samael. Pass over Debilitate, Concentrate, and Heat Riser. If Pixie has more skill slots unlocked, you can pass 4 skills here, with the last one potentially being Arms Master. Finally, we can fuse Thanatos. Again, we can only pass 5 skills here, so take a look at your inventory and prioritize skills you don't have cards for. In my case, it'll be Bloody Charge, Resist Light, Spell Master, Debilitate, and Heat Riser. For the remaining moves, I use skill cards. Arms Master and Resist Fizz are available in the Antique Store, but Arms Master could be passed down from Masakado as well. Charge and Concentrate are available from the Rank 12 Shuffle Time cards. And that is it for the builds. Bit of a long guide, but for a persona like Thanatos, I did want to be as comprehensive as I could. Out of these builds, the one I actually use the most is the support setup. I have a lot of other damage dealers, so I don't need Thanatos to also be one, and having him as a support lets me use him in every battle. But any other build option on Thanatos works as well. Again, if you guys liked the vid, consider leaving a like and subscribe on your way out. Otherwise, thanks for watching.